Van der Beek to Man United. The stories are back again. They were there in January before we signed Bruno Fernandes. They popped up again in June and now they're back in a big way. So here is everything you need to know about Van der Beek to United and all the latest updates, where they have come from, who has said them, are they reliable, what is the latest situation, what are the facts and what exactly has happened. I'm going to cover all of that for you in this update video on Van der Beek to United. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, share the video if you could, it helps us. But let's talk about Van der Beek to United. Now the latest updates again have been led by The Telegraph out in Holland, that newspaper. They are saying that there are noises in Amsterdam that interest from United and Barcelona for Donny van der Beek is becoming more concrete. And he was absent from Ajax's squad to face Eintracht Frankfurt because of transfer developments. Now it was Mike Vervage, however you say his name, the Dutch journalist. He led with the story back in June. He's leading again with the same story now. Now, there's a few facts that we can put towards this now. Donny van der Beek was left out of that game, of the squad, sorry, for that game against Eintracht Frankfurt. As you can see here, pictures of him in the stands. And he's also been left out of today's game against Union Berlin. As you can see here, he's training on his own. And reports there suggesting that he's doing individual training and is on the verge of joining Manchester United. That's what Fox Sports out in Holland are saying. And another fact is that Eric Ten Hag, the Ajax manager, confirmed that it was because of developments that prevented him from playing that game. So Ajax's manager confirming that Van der Beek was left out because of developments, in quotation marks. What developments could that be? Likely that he wants that move away and that something is happening in the background. United and Barcelona are the two clubs at this point being linked to that. And then Fabrizio Romano had plenty to say on it. This is what Fab said. He said United had been in contact with Van der Beek for many weeks and been scouted for months. He's considered an opportunity, but you, they're waiting for an official bid. Barcelona are denying any contact, saying that Van der Beek would love to join the Premier League. He can leave for €40 million Euros, and points out United's excellent relationship with Ajax. Thank you very much, Edwin van der Sar, for that relationship. But United there, interested in Van der Beek, have been for, we, as I said, we were linked with him back in January. So he's definitely been on our radar. No official bid has gone in. Why? He's 40 million euros. As someone who's young, Champions League quality, just a no-brainer in this market. If you're looking for value, you're not going to get much better than that. But no official bid, according to Fabrizio Romano, yet. But United firmly linked as a favourites there. And if you look at all the other reports that emerged yesterday, loads were said. Gerard Romero, who I think is a Spanish journalist, saying that Donny van der Beek was not an option for Barcelona. Oriol Dominic, who is closely linked to Mark Overmars, said that United were about to sign him. ESPN saying that United were favourite to sign him. With the Mirror saying that the only way United mess, miss out sorry, is if there's an unexpected bid from Real Madrid or Barcelona. So Barcelona, and they're a club who are in, I think they're pretty busy right now with a certain player. So they might not be making any signings anytime soon. And Real Madrid, if they wanted Van der Beek, it would have already happened by now. It would have probably already happened last summer, maybe. But it seems like United are the complete front runners for Van der Beek. That's what all the stories are suggesting. And Fabrizio, they're confirming that United want him. United are interested in him. But that official bid hasn't gone in yet. Now, there are some more facts that we should consider at this point. Van der Beek, he's keen on a move away. He's already spoken out about his future in the past. He said, nothing is certain yet. I'm still a player of Ajax. If there had not been the coronavirus, it might have been different now. He's keen to move on from Ajax. Because Ajax have told him that he can. And that's another fact. Ajax have said that he can leave. Previously, they've gone on record to say it. So it's not as if Van der Beek is pushing for a transfer away. He's had a great start to his career at Ajax. But like pretty much every Ajax player, he leaves Ajax and goes somewhere else. It was De Ligt to Juventus. It was um, De Jong to Barcelona. And Van der Beek was the one that stayed. And now it's Van der Beek is going to be the one that leaves. And United are the front runners for him. 40 million is an outrageously great price for a player who clearly is not a priority signing for United. I'll get into that in a bit, but could massively improve this squad. And United are in for him. Now, my opinion on this whole situation is I don't think Van der Beek would be left out of the Ajax squad unless there was real developments and not just like whispers and murmurs. Clearly, something is properly happening behind the scenes, whether that's just United or something else, 
clearly things are moving to the point where Ajax don't want to risk him being injured, maybe, to stop that move from happening. They'd rather leave him to the side and let that happen. And my opinion is that well, I don't understand why United it didn't do this at the start of the summer. Look, if he's good value now, he was good value at the start of the summer. Why waste time? And look, we could have already signed Van Der Anyway, look, I'll forgive everything if we sign him before the Premier League season starts. But Van der Beek is clearly not a priority for United. We're a bit spoiled in that attacking midfield role, but he can come in and then we have less minutes for Pereira and less minutes for Mata and more minutes for Van der Beek. And for me, that is a significant improvement in the squad because Bruno will probably get injured next season at some point. Pogba will probably get injured in next season at some point. You need quality players outside of that starting eleven, and someone like Van der Beek massively improves that. And we need a squad capable of playing your Barcelonas and your Real Madrids on a Wednesday or a Tuesday and playing your Liverpools and your Man Cities on a Sunday. Currently, our starting eleven could play either of those games, but not both games in a week. We'd be dead. So we need to get players like Van der Beek to improve that squad quality. And it's a no-brainer for me. Get that deal done. Champions League quality, ball-playing central midfielder, capable, wants to move on, wants to play in the Premier League, would love clearly, I think, to play for Solskjaer. Why not? That's probably not true. Well, it might be true, but I'm making that one up. I think, he, why not? This United team is now exciting. Is an exciting prospect going forward, and Van der Beek would want to be part of that. And Van der Sar would have plenty of good things to say about what it means to play at Old Trafford for United. So that is the latest on Van der Beek to United. It's all coming from The Telegraph again and Mike Vavidge. Vavidge? I'm just going to call him Mike from now on because then I can't balls his surname up. He was the one leading with the stories back in June. He's leading with the stories now. And the Dutch press are saying it's a bit more advanced than the British press are saying it. And I'll be honest, I think the Dutch press should know a bit more about this because they are far closer to the Van der Beek deal. But do you want United to sign him? Do you think he'll be a good signing for 40 million? Do you think he'll be good value? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But Van der Beek to United, it seems like United now are the clear front runners for him. Barcelona aren't interested. Real Madrid dropped out and no one else is there. And for 40 million, for a player like Van der Beek, you are not going to find better value than that really in this current market. So United need to move, should move, get it done, get it signed. Then we move on to Sancho. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to United Peoples TV. Take it easy.